Look at that wreckage. I'm amazed they're still making them like this. Hey? This looks like a standard fighter jet. That's actually different. They've done a lot of things to reduce the number of parts and cut down manufacturing costs. Without sacrificing the plane's strength and performance. Very cost effective. You could make three planes for the price of two this way. Who's this they you're referring to? North Osea Grunder Industries. Formerly the South Belker Munitions Factory. Run by the Belkin government. But Osea's taken over that land now. South Belkin technology is being used for Osea. Why does Yuktabania have this? Good question. Actually, <clears throat> speaking of Belka, Osea recruited some Belkin flying aces after the war 15 years ago to strengthen our Air Force. You know about this? No. Really? An aggressor squad comprised entirely of Belkin aces. Our old enemy. Well, that's the rumor anyway. Even an old fox like me isn't sure they exist. I bet the current administration isn't even aware of the story. Before the Ocean ground forces can proceed into the Yuktabanian capital of Sinegal, they'll have to deal with Prud Fortress directly in their path. The robust defense of this fortress has stalled the advance of our armies for the past five days. If this situation continues for much longer, it will give Yuktabania time to complete preparations for a counterattack. We need to take the fortress and enable our ground forces to reach the enemy capital as quickly as possible. To do this, we will launch an air attack on Krug Fortress. Our last attack sortie fell prey to their anti-aircraft guns and air defense fighters. Deal a decisive blow to the fortress and its surrounding air power, and support the ground forces as they penetrate the complex. Open the door to Krug. The day of Sinegrad's liberation is near. Check your plane and prepare for refueling. One mile to refueling ground. One hundred yards to go. Perfect place. Commencing refueling. Keep going. 